okay, so I've got this person who's been uh, commenting on a few of my videos the last couple days. They don't seem to care for the idea of anarchism, which is fine. They don't have to. I don't care. Uh, other than what they advocate for. It completely goes against everything I believe in, but hey, that's their business, right? So this most recent interaction was just within the last few minutes and uh, basically you know they they quoted James Madison if men were angels no government would be necessary and then stated that the founding fathers were actually very wise men to which I responded with a couple of quotes of my own uh, as Fred Woodworth stated, if human beings are fundamentally good, no government is necessary. If they are fundamentally bad, any government being composed of human beings would be bad also. And then a Robert Higgs quote that's always great. In debates between anarchists and statists, the burden of proof clearly should rest on those who place their trust in the state. Anarchy's mayhem is wholly conjectural. The state's mayhem is undeniably factually horrendous. Hi, Lippy. Uh, then they come back and tell me human beings are fundamentally good when they are forced by law to behave. Pure fucking nonsense. If government was to fall and the police disbanded it, would be like that movie The Purge every day. Modern day anarchists believe only in their version of society. They believe in authoritarianism. Modern anarchist groups like Antifa. First of all, dude, Antifa is not anarchists. They're freaking fascists. Believe that any talk that goes against their version of social justice should not only be shut down by should not only be shut down, but shut down with violence. The only reason we have free speech is the fact that it's in the Constitution, which was written by what you call statists. Now, I'm pretty sure without that piece of fucking magical paper, I could still say pretty much whatever I wanted, and no one could do anything about it, unless they stuck a gun in my face. Then it's violent, and then it's statism. Yeah. Oh, gosh, this person annoys me. Government is necessary because without it, the worst side of our nature would come out. You will notice any time the police stay home and refuse to police demonstrations. I, I, I don't even know when that happens, supposedly, but whatever. And riots. People are killed and businesses are destroyed. That's not anarchism. That's nihilism. The answer to a statist fascist like Trump, I don't even know why Trump is being brought into this, I don't give a crap about that maniac, uh, is believing in classical liberal principles where even if we disagree with each other, we allow the other person to speak. You don't just throw shit at policemen and Starbucks. Doing that is just propaganda for Trump. Those images get played on government propaganda stations like Fox News and outrages the country and allows Trump to gain more control and hurt more people. Okay, first of all, this person, when they wrote all of this, they immediately turned around and edited it and changed it, which is annoying as fuck because that means they're lying. They cannot get their shit straight in one fucking co coherent, cohesive paragraph. In, it's obnoxious. Knock it off. So then I reply to them, Antifa are not anarchists. Get a clue. To which they respond, Antifa call themselves anarchists, you dope. To then, I'm like, just because Antifa claims it's the anarchist doesn't mean it is. You said it yourself in your last post, and I quote, They believe in authoritarianism. Modern anarchist groups like Antifa believe that any talk that goes against their version of social justice should not only be shut down, but shut down with violence. And I'm like, that's the definition of statism, you fucking moron. Piss off. They did come back and respond to that, but I deleted it because I'm sick of their shit. I'm sick of their their crappy reasoning for why I need to be violently ruled over by fucking psychopaths all over the world. I'm tired of it. Got it? 
Thank you. Have a nice day.